introduce you to a new theory of everything. I call it the clinical theory of everything. This new theory comes from my work to solve the big questions of science and medicine. A core concept of this theory is the plasma condensate universe. Plasma and condensates are two different states of matter. They are at the opposite ends of the temperature spectrum. You know about solid, liquid, and gaseous states. You experience your body, you drink water, you breathe air. Plasma has ions that carry electrical currents. Plasma has three different modes. First is dark mode plasma, like blood plasma. Most of the matter in the spaces between the stars is in this state. Next is glow mode plasma, like a flame or a halo. The highest energy is arc mode plasma, like lightning. Plasma contains structures called double layers. Plasma discharges organize into helical structures called Birkeland currents. Those currents organize into twisted pairs akin to the structure of DNA. Our solar system is moving along such a helix. This is why the Earth's axis appears to wobble on a 26,000 year cycle. Plasma also produces concentrations of matter called a plasma focus. An example is a star. Since Birkeland currents like to travel in pairs, these foci tend to occur in pairs. This is why most stars are binary. Powerful concentration of matter also functions at every scale. The substructure of plasma is full of alternating rarefied and concentrated matter. These are double layers. The rarefied layers attract the condensate state of matter. Condensates are not fully quantized. They are not localized in space and time like ordinary matter. Condensates are superconducting and superfluid. They can move through space without displacing ordinary matter. Condensates produce a Meissner field that shields them against change. Condensates deflect the energies of plasma. Condensates are not thermally coupled with their environment. Condensates form the immortal spirit body of living creatures. These spirit minerals operate in unison as a field. They are not present as separate quantized atoms. These spirit minerals are notoriously elusive to detection and identification. Spectrometers made of ordinary matter can ionize and detect them only under a special atmosphere. Even then, observation times are about 12 times longer. There are about a dozen spirit minerals in the transition elements. These spirit minerals make up 5% of the dry weight of the brain. Four-ninths of their mass is non-local in space-time. This is how the five-ninths of their mass in the visual cortex can see the stars projected into space. This is how the body can react to a visual stimulus before the light enters the eye. The spirit minerals have a function that can transcend space and time. Studies on remote viewing and remote healing confirm quantum effects independent of distance. I apply biocommunication 
to guide healing with natural stimuli. Our clinical theory of everything is a paradigm shift in the health field. We can finally heal the Cartesian divide as we see how both consciousness and matter really work together. As long as we continue living in a fictitious universe of consensus science, we will fail to understand how to restore sight to the blind, make the lame walk, and heal the sick. Begin to wrap your mind around the infinite beauty of truth, and the way becomes clear. Come learn the key dimensions of healing. Learn to navigate the terrains of biophysics. Learn to track healing through the embryological tissue layers that develop the body after conception. Clearly identify the levels of regulatory response in the healing process. Remember that spirit means breath. You are breathing in condensates. Christ told us that this sustenance of solid matter is his body. This liquid drink is his blood. The Holy Spirit is visible as a glowing halo and tongues of flame. And the presence here of God the Father is a pillar of smoke by day and fire by night. This describes a cosmic Birkeland current rich with arc discharges. We are cells in God's body. Earth is the womb of heaven. As above, so below. The fullness of science allows us to receive miracles of healing.